When is a laptop not a laptop? When it's a lap dock. This is the next dock touch. Next dock to touch. I forget if it's something like that. We reviewed the next dock two on Linus Tech Tips last year. I forget exactly when it was. Editor will tell you now. And when we did that video, I was like, I like doing these kind of products where it's like, it doesn't really make a ton of sense for the average person, but it's something that makes you think. It's something that makes you imagine a future where we're all flying in cars and it's a utopia. And there's people trying to hunt down androids and retire them by force because they're getting becoming sentient. You know, that kind of thing. So the next Doc 2 was really cool, but the one thing that we really wanted it to have that it didn't have yet is a touch screen. So this one apparently has a touch screen and it's added, it's kind of refined the design a little bit more. So as usual, there's no knife to open these things. So I'm using James's screwdriver. Ooh, I almost stabbed myself. I didn't even say what this thing is. It's a lap dock, which means that there's no laptop brains inside. There's no computer in it. It's just a shell to which you are supposed to connect like a phone or a Raspberry Pi. You'll you'll see, you'll see. If that doesn't make sense, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you, don't worry. It's really cool, okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. So that was a somewhat unglamorous way of dumping all the stuff out, but this is like a micro USB to USB-C. This looks like an HDMI to micro HDMI adapter, cool. These are all power adapters for various regions, I believe. Okay, oh, okay, so there are still cords. Here's a USB-C to C, which we need to connect the phone. HDMI, USB-C to micro USB and USB type A, so that is for uh, a Raspberry Pi or a similar kind of micro PC device. I like this packaging, eh? You got the so you got the closed cell uh, foam. Not only that, but they also have what do you call this air pocket? What, do you, what would I what would you call this? <laughs> inflatable inflatable pool toy packaging, a life preserver, <laughs> a lap dock preserver. Um, quick start guide. Okay, like a, let's just look through this real quick. Uh, just do some light reading, uh, just so I know. You don't want to see my knees, Andy? Look, it's beautiful. <laughs> Help! <laughs> so right away, I noticed that they maybe listened to us. One of the things we said about the other next dock, the pre-touch next dock, was the fact that the finish on it felt kind of rough. Like they did this kind of like blasted aluminum look, you know, it looks like a MacBook type of thing or a Zen book or whatever you wanna do. But it, it felt a little rougher than you'd expect. And this feels already a bit smoother. So that's nice. Nice job, next doc. And uh, let's look at the ports. So can you see that Andy? We got the same ports it looks like. One HDMI, which is how you would uh, connect something other than a smartphone to put uh, video onto the display. And actually you can connect anything with an HDMI output. You can kind of connect game consoles, other things with HDMI outputs. I guess a computer, I guess a regular PC. And then you have three USB-C ports, which are all meant for different things. So this one is for uh, charging. This one is for, I believe for the Raspberry Pi. And it, I think this is a multi-use one. You can use it for Raspberry Pis and for like data. And then this one is to connect your smartphone. On the other side, we have a USB 3 type A port, a headphone jack and a micro, yeah, micro SD card slot. Nice. Very nice. They really took some measures to, uh, to protect this thing. Like it had that extra layer of like bump protection and now they had, they had a keyboard protector and a plastic screen protector. That glossy screen looks nice. Looks nicer than I remember on the other one. Okay, the feel is pretty similar to the original Next Dock. One thing that I said about it was that the, I thought the keys were a bit large and I think that appears to be the case here as well. I don't know how that, aren't, I, aren't like laptop keys kind of a standard size? But it's not anything horrible. Like obviously if you know how to type on a keyboard, you can still type. It's just like, oh. I don't need that. I don't need that much space. What are you trying to say about my fat fingers, next doc? Wow, is this trackpad even bigger than the last one? I feel like it is. And also, again, the finish on it is a lot nicer. So nice to see that, next doc. Nice. 
job. One other thing I wanna say about the physical design before we get into it is this little notch here. This wasn't here uh, the last time. Can you see that, Andy? This thing? They added a little nipple nubbin. Uh, it doesn't have a webcam. This is like a little vent. I can see that there's a vent there. I don't know whether that's input or output, it's probably output. But I guess maybe this also serves the function of allowing a little more air pass through there. I don't know. Okay, so it's time to turn this thing on. But before we do that, <laughs> it's time to talk about our sponsor, guys. <laughs> Micro Center. Get the best prices and best selection at Micro Center at any of their 25 locations across the United States or online. Join the new Micro Center community to give and receive advice on PC part selection and hardware. Also check out their custom PC builder configurator. And if you follow the link below right now, you can get a free 32 gig flash drive and a free 32 gig micro SD card, valid in store only, no purchase necessary. Check them out. It's time to plug stuff in. I got a Samsung Galaxy S25G. Now, in case you're wondering why the heck you would ever want something like this, we kind of go over it in the LTT video, so you should definitely watch that if you haven't seen it. Basically, the next dock is a dream uh, for those who you know want to realize a future where you can have all of your personal info and all of your like PC stuff that you need on your phone. Power! Okay, so there's a light. There's an LED light. Editor, pull up a shot of the next dock two non-touch edition bezels because they were a lot thicker that was one of the main things that we had a problem with on the first model in addition to the the texture stuff now granted they can make them that thin because there is no camera so that's one of the things that you're losing although you have a phone so if you really need a webcam and it's and it's plugged in like this boom you gotta <laughs> get over yourself and right away, you know what? Before I do anything crazy, I want to hook up this magnetic mount as well. Uh, what am I looking at? Okay, so we're putting it on. Here we go. That seems about right. And now we put the phone on. Uh, I should have put it higher up because I'm I'm seeing uh, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a bending bendy cord problem. She's a heavy boy. Ooh, that is uh, that's a very unfortunate sort of uh, situation here where it's like, okay, cool. Look at your your phone mounted there, and then you can't really have it at a certain angle before it starts falling back. Or you just keep it there. I'll just keep it there forever. Can I have another internet window? Ah, I can. So you can have two browser windows open side by side. This is another big thing I wanted to talk about. The touchpad. On the original Nextdoc 2, the touchpad had this weird like acceleration problem. Like you would swipe over and the mouse would just kind of keep going and they appear to have fixed that. This is a lot more snappy. It doesn't feel like I'm like out of control. I definitely felt like I could not do things with precision. Nice job, Next Doc, thank you. Okay, cool. The last thing I wanted to do is to take a look at the bottom because I opened up the last one and I want to see whether there's any major changes. So let's do it. Let go of your, yes! <laughs> oh, this looks different. This is a two cell battery. It says 60.8 watt hours which is a lot, well, the last one had 52. I think originally the next Doc 2 was gonna ship with like 40 something, and then they upped it to 52 watt hours. And now this one is a 60.8 watt hour battery. Great job. Oh, you're here. I just wanted to show you that I took this off. Are you proud of me? Uh. uh for the first time, I've never touched this laptop and I took it off. Are you proud of me? What the hell is this laptop? Are you proud of me? I'm proud of you, Riley. Good God! It's a lap dock, it's not a laptop. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, so it's like a stamp bottom. They didn't see and see it. You're getting so weight. What? Why? What, what? Why so much expensive? <laughs> Why? Wait, what do you mean? You don't even know how expensive it is. Yeah, it's 269 for this thing. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, like you could get a Chromebook or you could just like get one of these and you could plug your phone in or a Raspberry Pi or a whatever you want. Uh, that's not right. That's the way, that, that's. The build quality overall has improved in this uh, version, but there is still that kind of feel of like, hey, we're like a startup, you know, we're trying to prototype quickly and get some of these things out to uh, people who are, who are uh, really trying to tinker around with new ways of computing, and that's cool. I think that's, I think that's cool. But know that, you know, it's 269 for a relatively high-end build. 
uh, you know, there are some things like when you take the panel off, the edge is a little bit sharp and there's a little bit of flex to the panel. But I mean, I don't know. I think these kind of tinkerers who like go for this kind of thing, are they really complaining? I don't know. But it manages to do so with a claimed zero additional That's plenty loud. What's and up? And the exact same TDP what? as before. <laughs> On top of that, AMP. Okay, so they're, you know, they're not super great laptop speakers or whatever, but they'll do. I mean, like I've heard a lot of laptop speakers that are worse. Okay, well, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, it seems like Nextdoc has improved on most of the things that we had an issue with last time. The texture is a lot smoother. The trackpad responsiveness is a lot better. The bezels, the big fat bezels are gone. There's touch support, um, bigger battery. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Nice job, Nextdoc. I, you know, this, this gives me more faith that this kind of future where we all have just our phones as our main computing devices is maybe a bit more realistic than it seems. Even if, <laughs> even if Samsung might be the only phone manufacturer really putting a desktop mode in their phones. And next doc, you appear to basic, basically be the only manufacturer doing these. I, I've seen a, a few other ones and like there's been some on Kickstarter and stuff, but like they haven't really gone to fruition. So even if you guys are the only people who seem to be really pushing this future, I think it's a future worth pushing and keep pushing, pusha, all the way to the bank. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> 269 bucks, not bad. And you know what else wouldn't be bad? If you, checked out more of Short Circuit's videos because we're making these, how many are we making? Three or four a week? I don't want to promise that. Tweet Jono if we're, if we're short on videos. You can get real mad at him. And after you do that, come back here and subscribe to Short Circuit because I'll miss you. What? Hey, you ever heard of Carpool Critics movie podcast? It's a thing. Subscribe to that. I'm on it. Tech linked. Tech needs some help. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs>